On this Tuesday, the 22nd of June, our service of morning prayer begins on page 80. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, open our lips. And thou mm -hmm. shalt proclaim your praise. Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. The Venite, page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our psalms this morning are Psalms 97 and 99, pages 726 and 728, Psalms 97 and 99. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of the isles be glad. Cloud and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. A fire goes before him and burns up his enemies on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth sees it and is afraid. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all who worship carved images and delight in false gods. Bow down before him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad. The cities of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you are the Lord, most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up for the righteous and joyful gladness for those who are true-hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. The Lord is king, let the people tremble. He is enthroned upon the cherubim, let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion, he is high above all peoples. Let them confess his name, which is great and awesome. He is the Holy One. Almighty King, lover of justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and fall down before his footstool. He is the Holy One. Moses and Aaron are among his priests and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them out of the pillar of cloud. They kept his testimonies and the decree that he gave them. O Lord our God, you answered them indeed. You are a God who forgave them, yet punished them for their evil deeds. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and worship him upon his holy hill, for the Lord our God is the Holy One. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to, to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. The ark of the Lord was in the country of the Philistines seven months. And the Philistines called the priests and diviners and said, What shall we do with the ark of the Lord? Tell us with what shall we send it to its place. They said, If you send away the ark of the God of Israel, do not send it empty, but by all means return him a guilt offering. Then you will be healed, and it will be known to you why his hand does not turn away from you. And they said, What is the guilt offering that we, re we shall return to him? They answered, Five golden tumors and five golden mice, according to the number of the lords of the Philistines. For the same plague was upon all of you and upon your lords. So you must make images of your tumors and images of your mice that ravage the land and give glory to the God of Israel. 
Perhaps he will lighten his hand from off you and your gods and your land. Why should you harden your hearts as the Egyptians and the Pharaoh hardened their hearts? After he had made sport of them, did they not let the people go and they departed? Now then, take and prepare a new cart and two mulch cows upon which there has never come a yoke, and yoke the cows to the cart, but take their calves home away from them, and take the ark of the Lord and place it on the cart, and put it in a box as it, st as it side the figures of gold, which you are returning to him as a guilt offering. Then send it off and let it go away. And watch, if it goes on the way to its own land, the best Shemesh, then he who has done us this great harm. But if not, then we shall know that it is not his hand that struck us. It happened to us by chance. The man did so, and two mulch cows and yoked them to the cart, shut up their calves at home, and put the ark of the Lord on the cart, and the box with the golden mice and the images of their tumors. And the cows went straight in direction of Beth Shemesh, along one highway, lowering as they went. They turned neither to the right nor to the left, and the lords of the Philistines went after them as far as the border of Beth Shemesh. Now the people of Beth Shemesh were reaping their wheat harvest in the valley. When they lifted up their eyes and saw the ark, they rejoiced to see it. The cart came into the field of Joshua of Beth Shemesh and stopped there. A great stone was there. They split up the wood of the cart and offered the cows as a burnt offering to the Lord. And the Levites took down the ark of the Lord and the box that was beside it, and which were the golden figures, and set them upon the great stone. And the man of Beth Shemesh offered burnt offerings and sacrificed, sacrifice, and sacrificed sacrifices on that day to the Lord. And when the five lords of the Philistines saw it, they returned that day to Ekron. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Benedictus, page 92. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Prayers, beginning on page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty God, by whose grace and power your holy martyr, Alban, triumphed over suffering and was faithful even to death, Grant us who now remember him in thanksgiving 
to be so faithful in our witness to you in this world that we may receive with him the crown of life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We continue our prayers on page 836. Accept, O Lord, our thanks and praise for all that you have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole creation, for the beauty of this world, for the wonder of life, and for the mystery of love. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for setting us at tasks which demand our best efforts and for leading us to accomplishments which satisfy and delight us. We thank you, Lord. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone. We thank you, Lord. Above all, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word and the example of his life, for his steadfast obedience by which he overcame temptation, for his dying through which he overcame death, and for his rising to life again, in which we are raised to the life of your kingdom. We thank you, Lord. Grant us the gift of your spirit that we may know Christ and make him known, and through him at all times and in all places may give thanks to you in all things. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.